Good afternoon and welcome to TG Milner Sports Ground in Sydney's North for this exhibition warm-up match ahead of the Tri-Nations between Argentina and the Rugby Australia 15. Argentina's journey to this point started way back in March when the Jaguars played what would be their final Super Rugby match of 2020 before going into early stage quarantine. The Pumas are formally reunited early August in Buenos Aires and after an intense month of further isolation in Uruguay and here in Australia, they can finally return to the field and go head-to-head -head 15 men aside. Today's match will feature extended benches and unlimited subs. With 13 European-based players still in quarantine till next week, head coach Maria Ledesma will be looking to iron out the creases and find the best team to take on the Wallabies and All Blacks in the upcoming Tri-Nation series happening here in Australia over the next seven weeks. And without any further ado, let's have a look at who is taking to the field for this Argentinian side today. Up front, we have Mayo Vivas, Julian Montoya, and Juan Zayas. Special shout out there to Montoya. He celebrated his birthday two days ago, so in isolation, I'm sure he's pretty happy to be on the field. In the second row, we have Rodrigo Fernandez Criado and Lucas Polos. On the flanks, we have Francisco Gorison and Santiago Gondona and Rodrigo Bruni bringing it up at number eight. In the halves, we have the captain, Thomas Curbelli and Domingo Miotti. On the wings, we have Emilio Boffelli and Bautista Delgi. In centres, we have Jan Cruz Mahila and Santiago Chocoares. And at 15, fullback, it is Santiago Carreras. In the reserves for the side, we do have a big bag as well. Sosino, Tetes, Chaparro, Madrano, Calles, Gonzalez, Bertrano, Albanos, Cancellieri, Werdensin, Oviedo, Sinti, De La Fuente, Lezana, Escura and Sorosoni making up the bench for the Argentinians. And for this mixed bag of Australian side that's been put together, very, very good form from both sides to get this match up and happening. Let's have a look what's happening for the Australian 15 up front. Angus Bell for Alpha Inga and Jermaine Ainsley in second row. Caden Neville and Trevor Hosea on the back row. Lachlan Swinton, Liam Wright, Izzy Nysadrani. In the halves, it'll be Jake Gordon and Will Harrison with Ram Wright making up the wings. Murrah, Ikatau and Maddox bringing it up. And for the bench... McKinnery, Johnson, Holmes, Farmer, Silly, Hooper, Samu, Powell, Donaldson, Newsom, Kemeny, Riley, Parecki, and Valentini. So, 30 players for the Argentinians, 27 for the Australians, as we said earlier. Unlimited subs for this match. So, it's going to be a great test here for both sides. And out in the middle, Nick Berry will be refereeing the match. And we are underway. The Rugby Australia 15 taking on Argentina. Down in. Sydney are playing Eastwood's home ground. Sixtieth in the league and he's back now. The Wallabies working it out to the right hand side. Good covering tackle there from Fernandez Criado. Gordon works it over, finds Bell. Bell, playing school boy number 20 from 2019. Made a big impact this year for the World Cup. Oh, now intercept left hand side. Argentina's got their hands on the ball. First touches for the Pumas. In the middle. Trevelli. Sizes it up, looks at his options. Okay, use it now, nine, please. Slowly works it back. Nick Berry keeping his eye Use. on proceedings. There's the box kick, takes it to the sky. Up, down, underneath it. Knocked on, though, by Harrison. Now it'll be the first scrum of the match. Eagerly anticipated this one. Looking forward to the trio. Vivas, Montoria, and Zayas up front, up against yeah, no, Bell, Palau Fainga, and Wayne Ainsley. So, big competition here. And like I said, this is the first chases, match mate. for this Argentinian yeah. side since Pink. March 7. Okay, the last match for the Jaguars in Super Rugby, and they went to early stage of quarantine. But then the Pumas got back together I believe very early, it was in August, August 12th in Buenos Aires, and they've been together ever since. Um, they've had 15 days of quarantine in Uruguay, they arrive here in Australia on the 5th, and they had 14 days of isolation. Over the course of this whole period, they've had 15 rounds of COVID tests. That is a lot of nose swabs. 
but they have uh, shown up for the match here and um, I'm told they're in really great spirits and it's been a big long haul and I think we're very thankful that they're all here. Kubeli throws it in. Kubeli, actually, he's one of two that will be heading across to the Western Force for 2021. Julian Montoya in the number two jersey, both of them heading across to play in the Western Force who featured in the Australian Super Rugby competition this year. Obviously with the pandemic still unfolding. No one's really sure what's going to be happening with the Super Rugby season this year. Kabeli throws it in out the back. Bruni feeds it back to him. Now they're going to work through the centres. First meaningful touch. There's another good pass. Working up out of the line. Carreras throws it off the show. Good regather here by Delgi. Delgi keeps in the field of play, but he's brought down well by Murra. Taking the hit up will be Fernandez Corriado. Over to the right once more. Carreras loses the ball, though, in the tackle. It'll be lost forward. Batted back by right, but they'll bring back for the knock-on. Penalty, no less. Going against number five, Trevor Hosea. High shot. Trevor Hosea, Rebels Academy product. Schooled up in Brisbane. Went to BBC. So opening three minutes play. The first three minutes of play for this Argentinian side. We look at the, the coaching staff that have made their way out. Boomer number 533, Mario Desma, the head coach. Assistant coaches, Juan Fernandez Lobe. Puma number 630. Andreas Bordoy, number 778 for the Pumas. So a lot of ex-players have made their way back into this coaching side. A very proud rugby culture in Argentina. And we are just so happy to see them here playing on this continent. And I was speaking with their media, uh, Giovanni, earlier in the day. And it's um, been huge to get them here. Driving ball engaged off the back of that line. Now it's out the back with Montoya. They're driving slowly. Gordon's asking the question to Nick Berry, but the Pumas moving forward. They're recycling. A wonderful pink touring jersey as well. Unbelievable. The colour scheme. Now they're going to work it out through the centres. They're going to look for options. Gilberli gets it across, finds ample numbers of runners in the middle of the field. They're going to keep going. There's a bit of a sidestep from Fernandez Priado. Really keeps it alive out the back. There's Mioti, Mioti. Show and go by Malia, but he gets lit up and sent back beyond the five meter line. Flat ball, finds Paulos. Holding on to Kubeli, flat ball through to his number eight, Rodrigo Bruni. Out of the right, another run for the front row, Zayas this time. Kubeli shows and goes, darts through, gets one. Can't find the offload. Gets it away, though. Good hands there from Paulos. They're close. Picking and driving. Here's Montoya. Yes. The Argentinians stretching this Wallabies defense. There's a little chip over the top. They keep it alive. It's batted back in, but the Australian 15 will regather it. They'll bring it all the way back. The Argentinians... Who said anything about cobwebs or dust? They have absolutely lit up this end of the field. That man on screen, Julian Montoya, 59 caps for the national side. He's the most uh, senior in this side. Detes Chaparro, the other prop, who is off the bench, has 58 caps. Dele Fuente coming in with 54. But in this side, 12 debutants. No caps for the Argentinian national side. So a big changing of the guard in the last 12 months. Here's Montoya. Goes out the back. Driving malls engaged. There's one, says Nick Berry. He crabs to the side. Montoya, ball in hand at the back. His eyes up, looking around. They're trying to disrupt it. Montoya just short. Kubeli. Fires across. Crossfield kick coming from Miotti. Up high. Easy take. But it'll just be missed. Yeah, 
They'll bring it back. So the only Queensland Reds player in this side, it is the captain from Queensland, Liam Wright. He's featured in the last couple of matches for the Wallabies. He's not featuring this weekend, so he's down playing this wonderful crossfield kick here from Domingo Miotti. Falls just a little bit wrong for Buffelli. Buffelli, 28 caps. Thomas Cabelli, 75 caps. So the few big cap plays they do have in this side are really lighting up. We're seeing a lot of their experience right now. Montoya fires up the front, taken clean, driving more once more. The Australian 15 holding well. Gubelli at the back, picking and going. Montoya, he seeks it. Montoya's over. Just short. Held up, says Nick Berry. So, Argentina have been camped inside the Australia 15s 22 for the longest period here. And they're not quite done. 80 minutes for this match today. Two 40-minute halves. Probably see large volleys of subs coming on from both sides of the equation. Lots of players here wanting to impress. Not only for the touring national side for Argentina, but a whole wealth of players coming from all over Australia in the Super Rugby competition. An opportunity. They might not have been in that original Wallabies squad, but they're getting a golden opportunity here to show their wares. Hedge coach Dave Rennie. Now the back pick and go from Bruni. Brought down by Gordon. One out. Bit of a shuffle step there from Grondona. Picking and driving. Argentina pulling their way close to the line. They're having another crack. The Australian 15, they've held them out so far after 10 minutes. But they're going to keep going. Close quarters, picking and driving. Kilberli. They're getting very close now. Montoya. Just short. Another spirit attempt there from Gorinson. And now a big turnover. The Australian 15 manages to hold out just long enough and they get a big, big, big turnover. So Argentina. Argentina spending so long inside that 22 coming away with no points. Learning curve and there's the kick from Harrison. He's the youngest player to ever sign Waratah's contract. Sydney local member of Coogee Surf Life Saving Club. They'll bring it back. It's taken well up top by Neville. Gordon patiently waits at the back. He's not ready yet. He's calling out the conditions. Well, our finger at the back gives it away to Gordon, who throws it on. Running through left-hand side, right. Not happy with the traffic in front of him. Now the kick return coming from Delgi. Moving the ball very quickly. Argentina out. Malia now. Now a penalty going. Against 5'8", Will Harrison. So some electric touches here from Argentina. Great touch here for Juan Cruz Malia. Goes straight in, but as you see, not doing enough. Will Harrison slowing the play. Nick Berry pings him for it. Another line out. We must take it clean out the back quickly. Off goes Bruni. Wobbly old pass. Goes and finds out to the fleeting foot of Telgi. 
Fairly short ball finds Fernandez Criado, who rumbles his way over the 22 with a bit of help from teammates. Now out to the left, Bruni fires it through. They've got overlaps here. This is good. Tidy for Argentina. Left hand side getting it through. Great one, two. Wonderful hands from Brofelli finding Carreras. But it's a knock on. Great play down that left hand side from the visitors. We just see them here working hard down that left hand side, showing great skills. Short in hand, they have the overlap, three players, and see the one two. Carreras getting it away back to Boffelli, who gets the offload back in, but they couldn't just hold on to it, so it'll be knocked on. So the Australia 15 side will feed their own scrum five metres out. The attacking style of Argentina so far has kept the AU 15 stuck down here. But Mario Ledesma, I want to see some points soon. Lots of opportunities to score so far. Gordon. Works it in through the centres. Uh, it's been turned over now, Argentina. There's the kick off the boot of Choco Juarez out wide. Oh, and he's dropped it right at the end. Santiago Carreras can't quite get his mitts to it. It's unfortunate they're throwing a lot of these great kicking options in from centre field, really trying to utilise the likes of Boffelli, Delvi and Carreras. There was this big turnover here that opened the door once more. Great little kick, darts through. And Carrera has got on the outside of winger Tom Wright. Just needed a little bit of fortune to go his way, and that one could have been a try. And the captain, Liam Wright, is getting some treatment. So, the score remains nil all in this exhibition warm-up match ahead of the Tri-Nations. Argentina, who have had an amazing journey to get here. They've sacrificed so much. So many of them being away from family and friends for the longest time. It really puts in a sharp belief, especially here in Australia, that comparatively we've been very fortunate and very lucky. And I think we can give a lot of praise to these Argentinian players and the support staff and give up so much just to come through and play. And to everyone that's watching us, whether it be in Australia or all over the world, thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast this afternoon. It's just great to be seeing a little bit of international rugby, a little bit more. And there's going to be a whole lot more this summer over the next seven weeks. Yeah, it's just a step. Come over here. Just keep your feet up underneath you, okay? There's your mark. Oh, Nick Berry. Speaking the dark arts to both of these sides, try and get this scrum straightened out. We've had a few now in the opening 16 minutes of play. Gordon rolls it in. This time it goes the way of the Australian 15. They've gotten a few nice turnovers inside their 22. Kick for exit will be good. And we just see this scrum here. Gordon throws it in. Scrum loses a lot of its stability. We see Bynes lost. And it's going to go Australia's way this time. Not the cleanest take there from Caden Neville. But the ball will be recycled up. There's a good charging run from Swinton. Picking and going was nice to Rani. Back door, Harrison kicks it downtown. 
Won't find any free turf. Quick one, two. Here goes Carreras. Throws it up on the boot. Bit of a chip. And it will knock around the ankles a few too many times. It'll come off. Argentina in an accidental offside position. Here goes Gordon. Pops the rock over the top. Loose pass will be scooped up by Argentina. Pulling away as Malia tries to see some space, but he's brought down by Maddox. Fubeli out the back. Gives it once more to Miotti. He'll send it down. Tom Wright will be there to regather. Links up in the middle with Ram. Ram decides to go himself. Beats one, but he's brought down by Juan Pablo Zes. Harrison offloads it. Fang. Swinton over the top. Gets a bit of support also from Maddox coming up out of fullback. Harrison works it up the middle. There's a good trot from Hosea. Out of the right. Harrison shows, goes, sees some space. Beats one, beats two. Harrison's going. He's looking for some support, but no one was with him. Argentina looking for the pilfer. And Carreras is over the top. And they've turned it over. So Australia 15 not giving enough support at the breakdown. That's number two for them losing the ball. Argentina inside their own half, beginning the grind back up the other foot. There's Bruni. Out of the right. Njoki gives it away. Working it out. Great hands from Argentina. Long place from Gorison. Now in the centres would be Fernandez Criado. They're going to go once more. Miotti offloads it. Great hands from Montoya, but that ball will be lost forward, so it's going to be an Australia 15 scrum just in front of the Argentina 40. And we see this sniping run here from Will Harrison. Wonderful stuff, and he manages to isolate a few defenders, but he just didn't have enough support himself. And it was an easy turnover for Santiago Carreras. Now some time off for both sides. Yeah, it's close enough to 20. You want it? You want the two? Yeah. Very Thank warm you. conditions get, get in North Sydney get, get this afternoon. Minutes. Despite all the rain that we've so thankfully gotten all up and down the eastern seaboard here in Australia over the last Come couple on. of weeks. Come on. Two minutes. T two minutes water break. Still doesn't yeah. excuse the fact that we're playing. 15 men aside, 80 minutes on a Friday afternoon at 2 o'clock in quite a beautiful spring condition here. But I think the humans will just be very happy just to be free and clear of that quarantine, getting to play the game that they've sacrificed so much for this year. And they're back to their coaching and team lineup. There are some really impressive figures in there. Obviously, another assistant coach is uh, Andres Bordoy and Juan de la Cruz Fernandez Miranda. Both assistant attack coaches and both part of that Jaguares setup. Marcelo Lofreda is also in the mix as well. And uh, Nicolas Fernandez Miranda, he's currently with the European players who are in their isolation and they'll be there until next week and then they'll rejoin the squad. So once they join, it'll see Argentina with a 46 strong team. So it seems that the day will be split up within the halves, throwing in the water breaks every 20. Usually these test matches we're going to see this spring and summer here in Australia, they will be played in the evening. So it's a pretty big ask to get this stuff done in the heat of the afternoon. And the scrum battle has been fantastic both ways the Australia 15 have found some good purchase up their end of the field but they're in a new part up in the Argentinian end just ahead of the 40 meter so it'll be a good platform for them to attack and mind you you've got to remember the Australian 15 side these men have been playing in the domestic comp from the rest of super rugby and they've also a lot of them been playing within the club competition as well so Got a few more games under the belt, but that's why they need this match, the Argentinians. Just try and get some of these pairings sorted and figure out who needs to play where and 
This time it'll be a penalty against Argentina, just inside the 40. Score remains nil all between Rugby Australia 15 and Argentina. And once again, the Australia... Rugby Australia 15 showing a lot of dominance at scrum time. That'll be their third penalty they burnt off the back. Be interesting to see if they'll go for the points here. They get a kick for the line. Flau Fainga. Until he got the call up to the Australian under 20s in 2015, he was on course just to keep being a concreter. A massive turn of events it was for him. He's got two receivers back there. Nine drop out, nine. Back to the front. Goes back to Falfinger. There you go, a little trick play. Finding the captain, Liam Wright, in the train lines. Gordon flats it all the way through to Hosea. It's been turned over once again by Argentina at the breakdown. Big strength there for them this afternoon. Here goes Carreras. Another good run from Grondona. Some fleeting steps from Julian Montoya. Fantastic. There's the clearance kick. Argentina looking to get out of trouble. It'll be swallowed up the back by Maddox, who links up with Wright in the middle of the field. He'll throw it on to the right. The collector. Oh, wow. And that was a fantastic piece of play from Domingo Miotti. Keeps it in the field of play. Eludes two or three defenders, offloads it. Here goes Delgi. Delgi gets away from one, throws the offload. Big shot coming through from Mora. Now, Argentina camped inside their 22, looking for the exit. Delgi fires it through. Miotti for the exit, finds it. So it will be Rugby Australia 15 now with an attacking line out and the 22 right that time we just see that big kick down and what a great bit of finesse from Domingo quickly off the top Gordon we're going to work it over the right hand side there's a good take from no, Swinton. That's actually off pink, mate, in the tackle. Oh, Once oh, again, pink in the tackle, but it's, the me, Australia in the tackle. Rugby 15. Getting a lot it's of pressure at the breakdown. It's come away there for them this time, but oh, we're seeing the He's it out. them being very strong at scrum time. But then when it comes to the breakdown, the Argentinians fiercely competitive. This time they didn't quite get it right. But it is really putting the Rugby Australia 15 on notice that the breakdowns are going to be targeted quite heavily for the remainder of this match. 80 minutes. Anyone joining us? TG, now on the sports ground in Sydney's North. An exhibition warm-up match between Argentina and the selected Rugby Australia 15, which features... Some of the men selected in Dave Rennie's extended Wallaby squad weren't playing this weekend and a couple of new additions coming up. Gordon. Harrison. Big shots coming out from Argentina. From Len Ikatao. Right clears them away and now another trot from Swinton. Bell having a look. AU15 starting to secure their breakdowns a little bit better. Giving away that ball. Harrison this time. He'll throw it onto the shoe. It's scooped up there by Fubelli, who's brought down hard by Wright. Argentina, the Pumas do very well. Hold on to the ball. They've secured it. Quickly pop it out. Now, seven metres away from their line. This time they'll get the penalty. High shot. Going against Caden Neville. Might have been actually easy, nice to run. So a lapse 
Sorry, mate. It was number eight. Number Judgment eight. Sorry, from mate. the Rugby Someone Australia 15. Body, so it's a bit difficult. Yeah. Will allow Argentina to get out of the red zone and feed their own line out just before the 40. Two receivers pink. No, he's gone in. Witten nearly spoils that one, but it's at the back with Bruni. Montoya at the back. His head's up looking for his options. They managed to splinter that mall well, but Palau Fang has gotten in the middle of it. He's got some hands on it. And he's turned it over. So, another scrum to come. The Australia Rugby 15. We see a great form from Argentina at the back of the break then. Montoya held on it quite well. The mall separated. They moved away, but coming in from that legal position, Flaufinger managed just to get his hand on the ball carrier, ball and all. He drowned it down to the grass, and now the Rugby Australia 15 will receive the scrum field. I won't get the penalty advantage that time. Harrison fires it back, gets it himself, throws a really loopy one out wide. Scooped up well by Ram. Leave it, thank you. Another turnover for Argentina. Here goes Gorinsen. Pink hold. Yoti. Stop eight and five on your Finds left. Finds right. With the kick. Who yeah. on the return? We'll go straight into Baltita Delgi. There's a good run from Hosea. Harrison out the back, finds Maddox, who comes up. Really flat floating pass, gets all the way through to Ram. He throws it onto the right, gets a little chip out the back. Quick tap and go after the call from Carreras. Oh, that ball's been lost forward. No, it's all good. Flat is the call, gets a wonderful offload. Argentina really stringing something together here. It looks like in the chaos of that game, play, yeah, the yeah, Rugby yeah, Australia 15 yeah. have been pinged yeah, yeah, for so. an offside. It's just a free kick. Half on. No. It's free. Okay. Let's go. The chip from Miotti over the top, it'll fall short of Ram who picks it up and he'll follow through and tackle Ram as well. Game 15 on halfway. Harris, Maddie, shows, goes, cut out, finds right. Right, gets away from one, gets away from two, throws it back on the inside. Big one-two between the centres and Len Ikatao will cross for the first points of the match in the 29th minute of play. The rugby AU 15, 5, Argentina nil. We see on this replay the AU 15 starting from the middle. Maddox saw the shooters coming out in the defence line, floats the big cut out. And Wright does a huge job. Shrugs off two defenders, sucks in another one, and the support run there from Len Ikatao. Right place, right time, and completely unmarked. Went over to get the first points with the kick to come. It'll be young Will Harrison who will be taking first conversion of the game. Field where he's... He played a few games in his time already, even though he's very young.
Harrison just inside the sideline. And that'll be conversion unsuccessful. The score, Rugby Australia 15-5, Argentina nil. Back to the middle. It's been a really impressive game here from both sides. Australia showing strength at set piece within the scrum. And Argentina, I think they're off cuff style, especially with the back. The back three of Buffelli, Delgi and Correras has just been electric. Seeing a lot of in-game kicking from Argentina as well. And looks try to go back up the other end of the field and try and find some points of their own in response. Harrison will take that kick off and shoot it out for exit. So here we go. Argentina, big attacking phase coming up. Line out just outside the 22. New sub on the field for Argentina in the number 17 jersey. Naguel Cates Chiparo, 58 caps for the national side, but once again it's at the back with Montoya. Barely directing traffic. Wobbly pass, misses its target, but it'll be scooped up well by Chocolates. Well. So deep inside, I'm trying to get it out, but big work from. The Australian 15, look this one up and that wobbly pass just opened the door. And Liam Wright, the captain, very strong position. Wasn't going to get shaken off easily. And now the kick return off the back of that penalty. Attacking set piece once again for the AU 15. Some counsel between Ainsley and Fang. They hit Hosea in the middle. And they'll engage uh, driving more. Wright jumping into the passage of play there, but he's read very well off the side. And the offload to Liam Wright. Wonderful cover defense by Argentina. Really shut down this set piece. Similar to the one that we saw the Wallabies fall just short to the All Blacks at the end of the first half and the first test over in New Zealand. Seems to be a bit of a favourite for them this year. And Argentina, superb effort reading that one off the fringes at the back of the set piece. Shut it down immediately. Coach! Kubeli throws it in. Bruni takes it out, fires it through. Miotti gets another offload himself. In the center of the field. Another good run from Grondona. Kubeli takes it to the skies before Maddox takes the catch. Great covering tackle there from Grondona. Now, out the left, Harris looking to try and snipe through the line, but he's brought down hard by Malia. Another substitution there for Argentina onto the field, number 18, Santiago Medrano. The AU15 getting across that advantage line, Gordon fires it out, Harrison. But ball finds Ainsley. Ainsley gets an arm free. Argentina not looking to commit too much at the breakdown. They want to keep numbers and defensive strength out wide. Some good hammer on there from Izzy Nicerani. Gets the play up just in front of the 22. Now the penalty going against Argentina. No, no, no. Six was it for a bomb. His position in the for his body. You're good. He's presenting for us. The number six. Francisco Gorison. Professional foul at the breakdown. Warm conditions as we enter the final five minutes of the first half. And Harrison, he'll kick for the line. Wanting to back. The rugby AU 15 set piece. And that penalty there going 
against Francisco Gorison, another one of the debutants within this squad. At the back, a wobbly pass throw taken by Jose. Now they're going to try the driving more. Fainga's at the back. Once is the call from Berry. Fainga. He's got Gordon just sitting on the hip, watching the flow. Argentina slowly nudging forward. Gordon's had enough, passes it through. Great line from Moira. The AU15 out to the right looking for options. They keep recycling. Gordon, short ball for Fainga this time. Now the turnover, it's half back on half back. Thomas Guvelli, he's challenged it there, but it looks like the advantage has gone back towards the AU15. Right, throws it out to Harrison. Harrison gets an offload to Nicerani. Nicerani looked for one himself, but no support players within reach. Gordon, flat pass. Hosea. Harrison throws it onto the left foot, coming through. Oh, loose ball on the ground. It'll be interesting what the call is here from Barry, whether it was called back. And it will be carried back by Pink. We just saw that little bobble in the touch, and eventually Emiliano Boffelli comes through and grounds it. So great touch here from the boot of Will Harrison comes through, and that little fumble from Delgi. Creates the ball going backwards, and then Emiliano Boffelli will ground it. So the attacking set piece will continue for the Rugby AU 15 inside Argentinian 22. And after the ongoing advantage there, There'll be another attacking line out for the Rugby AU-15. It's taken well up top, now they start driving. Good take there from Caden Neville. The Pumas putting up a great counter mall. Slowly edging them towards, Gordon pulls it out. Good line in the middle from Moliroa. Gordon shows and goes, tries to snipe through, but a wall of defenders were waiting for it. Now, right. He's a metre short. Finger pops it out. Nice Arani. Small pop out to find Fainga. Argentinians folding them around. Oh, Will Harrison, great offload. Gordon fires it quick out to right. And it is a try. The second of the match going for the Rugby Australia 15 in the 39th minute. Increasing pressure, high phase count, stretched the Argentinian defence. And then Gordon, double cut out, flat pass to find Tom Wright, a man who's recently back from a lengthy stint within rugby league. It was a big, it was a big element of the Brumbies attack this year in the Super Rugby Australia competition. So he'll pick up a try conversion to come as the second half and half time is just around the corner. Will Harrison will be looking to try and redeem himself. He missed one from this side earlier in the half. Nearly a carbon copy position. In quite still conditions down in Sydney today. Warm nonetheless.
Harrison. Strikes. Just hasn't got the range finder in yet. It'll be conversion unsuccessful. The Rugby AU 15 in the lead. 10 points to nil over Argentina. With a restart to come. Not much left in this first half. So I think there'll be a lot of big conversations happening at halftime. Along with player rotations as well. Restart from Yotti. Taken out the back by Harrison, who is sandwiched by Juan Cruz Malia. Almost too much. Penalty going against Argentina. Harrison takes this one clean. Then falling into that tackle. It's unlucky there for Juan Cruz Malia. But Harrison's all right. He's up, kicks for the exit, and it'll be now you 15 line out just inside their 40. Swinton up the front, takes it clean. Gordon down to Harrison. Here's Nice Serrani. Yotti looking for the strip and the tackle. Can't quite find it. Floating pass out wide, finds Gordon of all people, see going. Now Maddox. Maddox is getting held up. Wonderful attacking pressure from Juan Cruz Malia. The kick from Harrison goes high. Taken well by Delgi, who gets monstered into the ground in turn. Argentina on the scramble. Oh, and Delegates down in back plate. Might have a bit of claret off the back of the melon there. We'll have to wait and see. Montoya. He's got support though in the form of Tetes Chaparro. Argentina really got to hold out to the halftime break. Good popping in close once more from Gorinson. Cruvelli. Miotti. Here's Fernandez Criado. Now they look to the left. There's a good run from Tetez Chaparro. But he's lost the ball forward. Gordon now with the recovery. Here's Harrison who loses it himself. One both ways. And Nick Berry will call half time. Half time here at TG Milner Sports Ground between this between Argentina and the Rugby AU 15. 10 0. We're going to take a short break for halftime and we'll be back with all the second half action in just a moment. Don't go anywhere.
Good afternoon and welcome back. Half time nearly up here. I'm Martin Lippiet and we are here for an exhibition warm up match ahead of the Tri Nations between Argentina and the Rugby Australia 15. And just before the second half gets underway, let's have a little bit of a look at some of the highlights from the first half between these two sides. A lot of time spent initially up in the Australia 15's end of the field. Argentina really started twisting the screws, but the Australian scrum managed to hold firm and it got them out of trouble a fair few times. And we see some wonderful turnover action from Argentina. It's been a real staple of their counter-attack today. They've been turning over a lot of great ball, getting a lot of big opportunities. But the Australians, they had their tricks too. Here's Will Harrison busting the line, getting past two, three defenders. And we see he's having a good game at 10. And this wonderful cutout from Maddox finds right out on the left wing, who's had a great game so far. Bumps off a few, sucks up a few more, and then pops one on the inside to the outside centre. Len Ikatau for the first try. And then we saw Rykosen get another one a little bit after. But now the second half is underway. Restart from Argentina. And it'll be Swinton underneath to take the catch. Gordon takes his time, finds the youngster Bell. Both him and Harrison, part of that under-20s outfit last year. Bell at the final hurdle and got a narrow second in the under-20s World Cup. Junior World Cup, as it's called. Hopefully we get to see some of that action in the coming years once more. Once we can get past this terrible pandemic. Now Gordon throws the box. Wow, confident. Very confident take up high. Great stuff from Santiago Carreras. Fabelli to the right. Miotti fires it out. Here's Montoya. Another sub there for the Argentinians. Thomas Lozana, 38 caps, the flanker. He's on the field. Now, Gobert. And that pass will eventually... Another one of the new men that came on late in the first half. Madrano. Kipelli looks to the left. Puts into the hands of Tetas Chaparro. Oh, Kipelli gets monstered at the back. Jermaine Ainsley. She can't touch the halfback. So it'll be a penalty early on going Argentina's way. Miotti will kick. It's at the back, Ainsley. Mistimed it. You won't give away an easier penalty. Now a great attacking opportunity here for Argentina. Right on the 22. Miotti, ball in hand. Ball will get flicked down at incredible pace and they'll hold on to it. To the right. Here's a good run from Goritsen. Now, look to the outside. Find Medrano. Just inside the 22. Argentina starting to get a move on. There's, another, there's that new man we saw on, Thomas Lozana. He'll lose it forward. And so now the Rugby Australia 15. Once again, they'll feed their own scrum inside the 22. They had a lot of success in the first half. Big shots. Mocky Swinton. And the Rugby AU 15 captain, Liam Wright. Wright might have been looking for another turnover. He got a great one in the first half. And we'll see how at the back. Rugby AU 15 reserves getting ready. It's an exhibition match. Argentina brought in a squad of 30. The Australians coming in with 27, unlimited subs. A great opportunity for players on both sides of the equation to strut their stuff and show their aptitude for upcoming tests. Now Maddox for the exit. Goes way downtown, heaving kick. And Jack Maddox. Not just a good rugby player, also a great cricketer as well. Studying liberal arts and science at the University of Sydney. Toya fires it up. Great take up high by Gorinson. Miotti out the back. Those passes 
going to know one a little bit today. Now Boffelli. Boffelli, great offload to Malia. Call is forward, though, by Nick Perry. So we're starting to see some good play string together, but just a couple of those passes. We're either seeing the pass, it's just missing the player. Well, the man just wasn't quite there, and it's to be expected. This Argentinian team, what a huge effort it's been for them. Their last match on in March 7th. And that was for the Jaguares in the Super Rugby before everything hit the fan, metaphorically. And they hit early stages of quarantine to preserve their ability to play rugby. But then the Pumas formally got together in Buenos Aires on the 12th of August. And that's how long they've all been in a quite a secluded quarantine to get right. 15 rounds of COVID tests this team have gone through to be here. And unbelievable effort and determination and just grit to stay the course and come so far. So we're just so grateful and pleased to see them here. And it's a big testament to all of the team and the support staff and the families and the friends for um, supporting them on this journey. Now off the back of a penalty, nice Serrani will take it up. But penalty going against Francisco Gorinson for not rolling away. And now the nines are getting a bit feisty with one another, Thomas Covelli and Jake Gordon. Separate, come on. Stop head on head, boy, stop it. Swinton in the middle with the new man, Thomas Lozana. Lozana, an experienced campaigner. Boys, this is a trial game. But the fact is, if someone does something silly, you get scrubbed out for a couple of weeks, okay? All right? So, so it's a penalty. If want, they want to play quick, you can. Don't run in here, okay? It's been a couple of times now. Okay, but he started. Yeah, there's a couple from both teams, okay? The fact is, boys, this is a trial game. Go back and talk to them no yeah. more. Okay, yeah. it ends now. Sorry, it's a penalty here for five, not rolling. And you can look at both sides of the equation of this match. You've got Argentina, which have been in mothballs for three, four months now, just itching to get to this first game. So they're going to be very eager. They've got a lot to prove. They've got some big matches coming up against the Wallabies and the All Blacks. And then on the other side, you've got this Rugby Australia 15. You've got uh, a fair few players within the team that have fallen short of making Dave, Renneby, Dave Rennie's Wallaby squad this week. Uh, and you've got other guys that are getting the opportunity to really impress. So as Nick Berry says, you know, you've got to remember it is just a trial match. But the consequences of some bad behavior here could have far more reaching problems for these players down the line. Paying it this time, throws it in. Taken well. Now they're going to loop around. This time it'll fall back into the hands of Noriroa. Gordon. Flat through to Swinton, who misses it completely, but it'll be scooped up well by Santiago Sassino. Now, on the left, another fresh set of legs it is Lucio Sinti. Plays for La Plata Rugby Club. He's one of a very small handful of the match day 32 that aren't part of the Jaguaro setup. Now, on the right-hand side, Argentina spreading it. Goritsen leave the field of play, so it'll be a line-out. Nick Berry having to really maintain the peace out there between these two sides, and it is a tight game. We've only got about... 32 and a half minutes left and there's only 10 points of difference and we see Argentina spreading it well and they come through but wonderful covering defense from Tapai Moriroa another man who's fresh off a six-year stint in the NRL here in Australia and he comes back and obviously the selection for this team down here is constrained by travel bubbles within Australia and who's already playing in other club competitions around as well so regardless they put together a wonderful side that's presenting great competition here for our wonderful guests Argentina driving more now off the back of this line out quickly out nice Arani brought down by another substitution Gonzalo Bertrano Swinton he's taken well by Paulos 
Now on the right, into space. Gordon looks for it, juggles it, misses it. Another penalty going the way of the rugby AU15. We're just starting to see some very impressive phase play coming together. And Jake Gordon was nearly there for all money. He just had to get his other mitt to the ball. Fun fact about Jake Gordon, he's the tallest halfback since Nick Farr-Jones to represent the Wallabies. I'm loving the medical trainer's kit there for Argentina. Very, very slick, very impressive. I think, not, not knocking the Australian trainer's outfits, but that was just a superb, a superb bit of kit that we saw there on the trainer. And contact lenses in rugby. Wowee. So the score remains 10-0 in favour of the rugby Australia 15 over Argentina. Argentina, been almost seven months since they've been able to get on the field and play the 15-man 15 15 man code. And we can see, want to hit the ground running here, but Australia. The club rugby competition at the lower echelons has been, been going well. Super Rugby Australia was going well also. And the Wallabies having two tests now against New Zealand. Just back. And third and final bled is low. Two days time. Very fortunate and lucky. I'm sure the eyes of the rugby world will be down here and watching over the summer. Catching all the amazing action coming to you at home. And big greeting to everyone over in Argentina who's watching. 2 a.m. We have... So many people tuning in to watch. It's just so wonderful to see. Gordon this time throws it in. Here's a better push from Argentina. Makes an absolute mess of the Australians. We just see, we've seen some nice new subs coming in for Argentina. And they completely upset the balance up front. We're seeing the same starting front row for the Rugby Australia 15 from the beginning of the game. But it looks like time waits for no man. And a whole bunch of subs have come on. Harry Johnson Holmes into the fray. Big pony for Hamasuli. Also up the front. Joe Powell. He's jumped in to halfback as well. And Pete Samu is joining the fray. On the other side, it also looks like Ignacio Callas has jumped on. Ignacio Callas, the tallest man in this Argentinian squad, 199 centimetres tall. Keep your eyes on him at the line out. There's a big shot on Carreras. Miotti gets the offload away. Now we're seeing some continuity from Argentina. They're pulling away. Good run here from Miotti. Gets it onto the boot. Running onto it hard and fast will be Malia. But Ram will be out the back. And it looks like he's going to get dragged into touch. Don't know what they put in two. The water at half time. Argentinian team is really starting to fire up. Here we go, Miotti. He's been really good at darting around the park. He gets a little bit of a touch on there. And it was a good one-two duel between Ram and Malia. And Malia got the better of that engagement. So Sassino, Tetes, Chaparro and Medrano make up the new front row for Jaguares. 
for Argentina, I beg your pardon. All three of them playing for the Jaguares in the Super Rugby competition. A new halfback is Gonzalo Batrono. 25 caps for Argentina. So when you look at the halfbacks for this side today, 100 caps between the two of them. Just get your feet up underneath you, okay? Bring your shoulder height up. Yeah. On the other side of the equation, we do see players that have featured for the Wallabies in the last two test matches against New Zealand. Down here playing in this match, Pete Sama, Joe Powell, Jake Gordon. Now off the back, running around. Spirited run from Bathrono. Argentina probing, looking for an in. That is a try, first try of the match going Argentina's way. They're on the scoreboard, trailing five points to ten, conversion to come. And we'll see a great run off the back of the set piece from Bathrono comes through. He's trying to line up the players left and right, trying to find his way in. And I think it was Bertrano. Got in nice and close. Saw the Australians weren't watching and managed just to creep one in right below them. So conversion attempt on the way for Miotti. If you can get this one, it puts them within three. Great kick from Miotti. Conversion successful. Argentina trailing. Seven points to ten. And it's the Rugby AU 15. Restart to come. We might even be taking a little bit of a drinks break in between that kick. Probably some more subs hitting to the field as well. Probably never seen a bench with so many seats on both sides. Here's the restart. Oh, and it's allowed to bounce. Miotti's out the back, and he'll have to have a pressured kick off the left, looking for the exit. And he'll get there. So, an opportunity here for the Rugby AU 15 to counter. A bit of a fumble off the feet there from Yaquin Oviedo. Up high, and Powell takes it. Swinton, who's been showing up for every single contact today, Powell, over to the right. Harrison fights a double cutout to Ram, who had copious amounts of defenders waiting for him. Great tackle from Emiliano Boffelli. Harrison, one, two, almost a triple cutout pass, and... It was good work there from Ram. Hold in. Ram, he's had a string of injuries over the past few years, and 2020 has been an injury-free year for him. He's been playing some great rugby. Out the back, taken well by Goritsen. He'll hit the driving mall. Bartrano at the back. He'll go one-on-one -on -one with his opposite power. Gives the offload back. On the outside to Boffelli, who straightens up. Powell's over the top of that. Oh, but he'll give away the advantage. Farmer in the middle there, and that one will be spat out, and Barry will pull it up. So Joe Powell nearly had that one. He just had to keep on his feet. He would have got the turnover. got to think that everyone's time on this field today is going to be very limited. 30 blokes each side, 80 minutes of rugby. I expect each of them probably get about 40. 
Huge amount of subs available on both sides. Oh, and Samu will clean up a loose one out the back, but the short arm will go against the Rugby AU15. Bartonov offloads it quick. Here's a good line from Thomas to Lozana. The 38 cap veteran. Big unorthodox hit there on Buffelli. Gives them the advantage and now Bartonov goes in. Referee Nick Berry confirms the advantage still available for Argentina as they cross the 22 line. Far Musuli misses that one and Argentina are going further in, but they'll bring it back to that head high shot. Plenty of rugby still to play. 20 minutes remaining in this exhibition warm-up match. In Argentina, they'll be looking forward to the next seven weeks. A series of matches against... The Wallabies and the All Blacks. We just see that high shot there. Bit of a seatbelt across Buffelli. And Fernandez Criado takes it well up the front, driving more for Argentina. Australia looking to try and burrow their way through, but They've got advantage, Argentina. A few too many penalties being given away by Australia in close. Ooh, it's a big contact. We'll loose the ball, but they'll bring it back for the penalty. Gonzalo Bartuno, he is raring to go. Lockie Swinton trying to educate Nick Berry on the rules of the game. Good luck. Now, another well executed bit of set piece for Argentina. They're going to work it up through the middle corridor. There's a great run from Lozana. Bertrano gives the offload to Fernandez Criado. Now they look to the right. Short ball hits Callas. Tallest man in their squad did well to pick it up at his ankles. Can't push him back. Back, back. Again. Yeah, mate. And Australia offside. And you have to wonder how many more. Okay. Like penalties down here, man and up. Talk to the guys. Next penalty. Turn around. He's gonna go. Turn around. Just reiterate the message from earlier. Go back. Yeah, yeah, no, it's just general discipline down here now. Wait, there's another push and shot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Time's off. No, no, no. Wait. Uh, your captain. So you got an option, okay? You, you, got, you got one about 15 metres out and you got yeah. another one here. Okay, but listen, that's enough of the pushing yeah, shot. No, 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 I spoke to Thomas. I've spoken to okay. him as well. Okay, when the whistle goes, that's it. Yeah, have a talk to him. I've asked him to have a word as well. No more. So Nick Berry having conversations to both captains, Liam Wright and new captain, Geronimo De La Fuente. Getting a bit too hot, a bit too simmery for a subs complete. friendly between these two sides. More subs rolling in for both sides of the equation. Argentina. Pull a familiar club out of the bag. There's once from Berry. Picky going out the back. There's a good run. He'll be just short. Heavy contact on Gordison. Now they're going to keep pulling it out to the right. Numbers. They've got overlaps. Four days and crossing for the second try is Santiago Carreras. 
Argentina take the lead, 12 points to 10 in the 62nd minute. We're seeing the fresh amount of subs for Argentina. They played it patient. They sucked in a lot of defenders. And Jack Maddox, the fullback, had to scramble two players on his outside to cover, and he wasn't ever going to get there. So for an experienced player like Santiago Carreras, he just had to hold it on, go forward, and get the try. Now the conversion from the off the far side of the field. A little bit more difficult than his first try, which was right in front. He strikes. Another beautiful kick. It's two from two. Argentina, 14. Oh, he's on his way, I think. Yeah. 15, 10. And we're just going to dock here as well. Just hold on, so. So, time off. We'll and it'll be time off at the moment. This looks like they've got to attend okay. to some players on the field. Oh, look at that wonderful kit. Argentina's trainer. I could watch that all day. Brilliant stuff. <laughs> There's a take out the back by Oviedo. Felipe is at half back now. He'll throw the box off the right foot. And it will be collected in touch by Alex Newsom. Former Western Force player. Pink, pink. Come on. Oh, Kenry. I'll throw this one in. Taking up the front cleanly. Pow. Down for Harrison. More hard straight running from Motogroa. Tom Hooper on the field also for Australia. Powell looks to the left. Straight running from Maddox. He's got right to help him out. They'll hold on. Farmusuli spills it. It'll be cleaned up by Argentina. Escura gets the offload through. Now they're finding themselves in space. Argentina pulling away. This is really good stuff. Fast running from the try scorer. He might be looking for a second. Selflessly. Offloads it. Wonderful stuff from Carreras. Now Argentina going coast to coast. They're going to work it through the back door. They're going to charge through. There's the 22. Flat ball hits Lozana. Arbonaz gives a great offload back to Boffelli, who gives another offload through to Francisco Goritsen. And Argentina extend their lead now, 19 points to 10. Starting to see some continuity between these players on the field. Great stuff from the touring side, and it started all the way down in their own 22. And Santiago Carreras having a brilliant game. Does the lion's share of this one, goes 22 to 22, gets the offload away. And now the Argentinian support players, they've all rallied up and they're up here waiting. Heaps of options. Australia was stuck just going back the whole time. Didn't have too many adequate responses. They kept working it across to the side of the field and it was working out really. Escura gets the offload through. 1-2 into the hands of Emiliano Boffelli. And then he gets another fantastic offload away to Gorenson. And it is a try which should really invigorate this Argentinian side. Not the best kick there from Thomas Alvabonos. He takes over kicking duties. So 
The score remains 19 points Argentina to 10 Rugby AU. Back to the middle now. Restart coming from the Rugby AU 15. Just on 13 minutes remaining in this match. Argentina up 19 points to 10. Now here we go on the kick return. Good trot there. Vieto. There's the turnover. Australia doing well. Powell offloads it. Johnson Holmes. Left. Harrison. Maddox. Gets the offload. Running away with it will be Valentini. Powell trying to navigate through his own traffic there. Farmer Sully. Quick offload. Through to Hooper. Harrison finds Wright. Who gets picked up and put down. Penalty advantage. Argentinian defence amping up Harrison, holds on to that one, brought down well by Cetas Chaparro. Berry will bring it back to the penalty. A tackle there from Joaquin Oviedo. Getting the Penalty advantage, and Harrison will kick it out, which will pave the way for the Rugby AU 15 set piece. Hang on, guys, just wait, just wait. We're going to give him a chance. Yeah, we're done, we're done. Line out. Getting ready to set. Nick Berry trying to settle things down. Doesn't go the way of the Australians. And Argentina make the counter. A little bit of a technical issue with our camera operator at the moment. We'll get the vision back on the play in just a moment. And we're back there. There's a hit up from Hooper. Powell on the left hand side. Good offload from Harrison. Australia 15 keeping it alive as they make their way down the far side. Penalty advantage. Hey, come down there. Go on your elbows. Here's him up. Seven. Playing it off the ball against Argentina. Harrison will kick for the exit. Nice casual one. Had a great 70 minutes so far. The young number 10. No, it was, no, it was good. It was good. Not often you get to no, see such high no, numbers. It was good. Yeah, in a I'm test happy. match on the backs of jerseys, but no, I'm happy. I saw that. He's unsighted. Good to see a lot of players and to get out here numbers and having a run around this afternoon. The wayward line out from Australia is snatched up by Thomas Lozano. Stay Gray, use it. 29, use. It's good off the back. Box kick. Looks for the exit. And you'll find it. Oh, we're just waiting for that camera to catch up with you. One second. Just keep him with you guys, so I can't keep track of him. Oh! Oh! 
fighting advantage. You got advantage there. And Australians there have crossed the line on the back of that set piece. Off camera, it'll be the Rugby Australian 15. No, I saw that. Trailing 15 points to 19 against no, Argentina. Uh, 10. You just over here. Sorry. It'll be I've Will here. Harrison stung in the past about that. fronting up for the conversion. That conversion was unsuccessful there, so it'll be the Australian rugby 15, trailing Argentina 15 points to 19. Take back to the centre of the field. Restart. The Australians camped inside the 22, Powell over the top. Gives it to Hooper. He's met well, hunting for the ball there will be Rondona. Power shapes and throws the box. Received well by Santiago Carreras. He's had a fantastic game this afternoon. Escura offloads it out. Good hard hit there from Harry Johnson Holmes. Hooper shoots out of the line. Here we go, line break. Argentina making some ground on the Australians. Good support line there from Frederico Wergzin. Strong carry from Gonzalez. Escoral. Quick one two offloads, but it'll stop with Callas. Penalty. Huge from Pony Farmasuli over the top. Steals the ball away from Argentina. We see Argentina. They wanted to try to get that one extra pass into Pune Farmusuli. Massive human being. Gets over the top, latches on. He's going to be pretty hard to dislodge. Great body position. There's the kick off the boot. Another substitution. Ben Donaldson there. Argentina in lead, 19 points to 15 as the Rugby AU 15. Slowly makes their way up for the line out in the last five minutes of this exhibition match. Rugby AU 15 running a five plus one. Hit it safe up the front. There's the driving mall engaged. They march their way inside the 22, but Argentina putting up some fierce defense in front of them. Powell with the advantage. Offloads it through. Great centers pairing, but the ball will be lost. They'll bring it back for the penalty. Once again on the toe, it'll be Ben Donaldson. It's been a great afternoon here between these two sides. Argentina finding their legs in the second half. They've got the lead now, 19 points to 15. They're two from three on the conversion front. Rugby AU 15. Haven't managed to 
find any this afternoon. There is a good take from Rob Valentini up front. Argentina. Putting the Australians on skates. Here's Samu. He's got support from Mikatao. Pow recycles, keeps moving into the left. Here's Hooper. Hooper. Pow keeps it moving well. Now Farmer Sully. Valentini coming around the corner, tried to find it in, but Argentina's defense is strong. Good shot from Sorathoni. Argentina finding their feet and the penalty. Might have had a little bit of a head clash down there. Pony Farmasuli is down. Jump back and check the replay. He takes into that contact. Gets hit really hard there. Big contacts here for this friendly day. And Pony Farmer Sully still down, receiving treatment. Just under three minutes remaining in the second half. Right now, Argentina in the driver's seat. Up by four. With a lead of 19 points to 15 over the Rugby AU 15. The local Victorian products came through. The rugby system, Pune Farmasuli, had a breakout year this season in 2020 for the Super Rugby AU. Doesn't matter who you are, even the big men, you get knocked the wrong way. You've got to take your time. They've got to make sure you're all good. And we might see him a little bit later, potentially. But for now, it looks like Jermaine Ainsley will retake the field and probably play out the match the side of the scrum. Here's your mark, guys. Yeah. Just start getting involved. Okay, throw him on. So a reworked front row in McInerney, Johnson, Holmes, and Ainsley. Felipe Escura throws it in. Quickly gets it out, works it way over. Argentina get the kick on. Maddox was there. He's looking for the quick, <laughs> quick line to tempt the Argentinians, but not today. The Pareki throwing the line out now. Finds Valentini comfortably at the front. Now, that's some razzle-dazzle from the Australians. Now on the left-hand side, right charges up through the train tracks. A lot of Brumby's elements linking up in that back line. Pow. Over to left once more. Straightening up fast there was Tristan Riley. Strong runs. From the Australians through the middle of the field. Throw it out the back. Another big cutout pass finds. Big old David Parecki charging through. Rob Valentini can't quite finish it off. The rate he was going. I'm surprised he didn't end up in the grandstand. Huge covering defence there. From Santiago Carreras. Martini had the right idea, looked for the loop round, got that offload. Just couldn't hold on to it. Big shoulder also from Thomas Alburnos. Final 30 seconds. Run official time here on the clock. And Felipe Escura. We'll finish out the game as halfback for Argentina, who have 
come home with a wet sail in the second. And now they get the penalty advantage from that scrum. Such a big reward for this side after such a long period of sacrifice and quarantine. It's the exact thing they're going to need with the adversaries they're going to face in the coming weeks. Now we're on Nick Berry's time out in the middle of the field. It's been a wonderful afternoon down here at TG Milner Sports Ground in Sydney. And we're probably looking down the barrel of the final play of the game. No, no, step off. Two Sounds like a very sacred belt. TJ Milner letting Nick Berry know that full time is a calling. Driving more from the Argentinians. They've had enough. They've got a win. And they have got some wind in their sails as they look to progress further into the future against the Wallabies and All Blacks in the upcoming Tri-Nations. What a massive game it was for both sides. The Rugby Australia 15 looked very strong in the first half, in the lead for a time. But then we saw some very impressive subs come on for Argentina and they really bolstered the team and we saw some more flowing rugby. And it looks like even though they've been in isolation and quarantine for quite some time, they haven't been snoozing. Quite an impressive display from Argentina, but it's not done yet. They've got some big games to come. It's been an absolute pleasure having you on with us this afternoon for all of the gameplay this afternoon. We're looking forward to having you join us once again in the future. I'm Martin Lippiat. See you next time.